Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about is Tiny Leaders a fad? Meaning, um, how popular is Tiny Leaders? So I definitely would love to see how popular Tiny Leaders is in, in your area. It used to be extremely popular. Two months ago, or like even a month ago, people played, everyone had a Tiny Leaders deck. They were playing that Tiny Leaders versus Tiny Leaders. And it was a lot of fun. And I have a Tiny Leaders deck on my channel that I love and I still am going to keep together. But um, let's be honest here, Tiny Leaders is probably a fad and the reason it is, uh, I attribute this to two... The ban list is a little wonky for me. Like I don't understand some of the cards on the ban list um, and I don't understand why some cards are not on the ban list. And the ban list is controlled by one dude who I believe trademarked the Tiny Leaders name and that also seems a little wonky to me too, how like, it's kind of like, so I'm a designer and I work in art, I work with artists, I am myself an artist at heart, I guess, and I draw, I do stuff like that, and it's like an artist trend where it's very organic, it's very like, you know, hey, we're going to have fun together, we're just going to do, you know, go out and peace out and stuff. But no one's going to be like interested in money and we're just going to have a good time. That, that whole money component, that whole trademarking of tiny leaders really, um, that to me was the end of how I was going to actually play. I, I was not going to make any more videos after I found it was trademark because I was like, you know, I don't really want to, I felt like this was a uh, grassroots, very organic, very friendly, very cool idea that you know, people are going to do this and they're not going to do it because they want money. They're going to do it because it's a fun little thing to do. So it's kind of like being, uh, being into indies, right? So I love indie movies. I love indie magazines. I have owned a ton of uh, indie movies, like collector's editions of all things I can own. And it's like, I like the idea that it's just, you know, there's no, they're making a movie because they love it. And that's what EDH was. EDH was a movement from people who loved casual. They loved it. They didn't have any intention to monopolize it in any way or to, um, hey, you know, the ban list would be more of a organized decision. It will be like you could have opinions about it, but it would be tested by many people. And then everyone could, as a community, come together and say, hey, I, this card is too good or this card should not be banned. This card should be banned etc etc and no one went out to uh, trademark the actual name um, I felt like people were that once the whole hey this is awesome this is organic this is like all this cool stuff once that faded for me personally once that like came crashing down I'm just like well why would somebody not just make a game with four ca casting costs and call it something else and trademark that or five or six or you know maybe you make one that you have to the cards that you play have to be greater than four casting cost I don't know you could do all that type of stuff but it just seemed to me that like tiny leaders had a very indie feel to me uh, just like EDH in the beginning and you know eventually EDH was supported by Wizards and that made the next jump and that made EDH what it is today when which is a coast made products just for EDH. For tiny leaders, it's more like, I don't know, like I cannot see it really taking off. And I might be wrong, I might regret making this video, but I'm just going to say what I need to say is it doesn't feel like it's a grass, it feels it feels very money, it feels like a money grab from the speculation point of view when you look at some of these cards that have spiked in price because of tiny leaders, like these EDH generals and the tri-colors, which, you know, I, I honestly make sense, but the generals themselves suck and you would never play them. You're only playing the general so you can play the colors, right? And you just look at some of these price spikes and you're just saying, I'm just saying to myself, is this really what tiny leaders is about price spikes and trademarks and I I can't really support the idea of um, of hey we're gonna do this so we can all make money we're gonna support tiny leaders and then once we make money from it we're gonna drop it 
And that I feel like is what is happening currently. So hopefully Time Leaders isn't a fad. I do have a deck. I've made a deck profile. But um, more and more it feels like it's becoming more about money than it is about fun. And I could be wrong. This is just how I personally feel about Tiny Leaders. It's, you know, money from the card. How much money these cards are. Uh, the price increase and it's money from the fact that like the people who make it and control tiny leaders um, There's not that many of them to begin with. It's not like a community. It's I think one or two dudes and they have on they've shown an interest in monetizing it in the future If not at the current point, maybe they have t-shirts that say tiny leaders. I don't know um, But I would much rather have it be for everyone and be open that trademark. I understand it I understand the trademark completely. I just feel like for me, it has a different connotation than maybe what they expected it would have looked like. I don't know. Like I just cannot see Tiny Leaders being uh, that popular, as popular as it used to be. And that's saying a lot because it wasn't like super popular and it went down a little bit. It's still just in its beginning stages. Bye guys.